Your vehicle's mobile entertainment system consists of a DVD player, LCD screen, remote control, and wireless headphones. DVDs can be viewed on both the front control panel display and the rear flip-down display screen for second row passengers. Videos will not show on the front display while the vehicle is in any drive position. To play a DVD on both screens, place the ignition switch in the ACC or ON position. Move the shift lever to park and activate the parking brake. Press the power button on the audio system, then insert the DVD into the slot. The player will grab the DVD and load it automatically. Be sure that the label of the DVD faces up when loading. When a DVD is loaded, it will start to play automatically. You can use the remote control audio system controls and touch screen to operate the entertainment system. While a DVD is playing, press the disc auxiliary button to display additional DVD options. Use the touch screen to select an item. You can also use the Nissan controller to highlight an option on the screen and press the enter button to select and adjust. Here is a brief description of how to use the DVD player controls to adjust DVD play. Touch these keys to play, pause, or stop the disc. Touch skip forward or skip rewind to skip to the next chapter or the beginning of the current one. The chapters will skip forward or backward as many times as the key is selected. Touch top menu when a DVD is playing to display the DVD menu. Touch settings to access a menu of additional options and adjustments to DVD play. Press the eject button to eject the DVD from the player. For independent listening and adjustments from rear seats, your system also comes with a remote control and wireless headphones. When using the remote control, always aim at the bottom of the screen. Press the rear display open close button on the remote to open or close the rear display screen. Use the arrows on the center button to select items displayed on the rear screen. Wireless headphones are supplied for passenger convenience. Turn the headphones on using the headphone power switch and adjust audio levels using the headphone volume control. The headphones will not work in the front seats. If the headphones do not receive an audio signal after five minutes, they will automatically turn off to save battery power. Each of the headphones and the remote control require two batteries. Remove their covers to insert fresh batteries as needed. The disc auxiliary button on the audio system allows you to switch between main DVD play and auxiliary inputs such as video games, iPods, or USB devices. Press to toggle between the different modes. The auxiliary input jacks on the center console allow compatible devices to be plugged into the DVD system. Accepting NTSC compatible devices such as video games, camcorders, portable video players and some MP3 players. These jacks are color coded for easy identification. The yellow input jack is for video input, white is for left audio input and red is for right audio input. Before connecting a device to the jacks, make sure the device is turned off. Please see your owner's manual for important safety information, system limitations, and additional operating information.